Rome, the first century AD, the Colosseum. A remarkable spectacle is about to occur. A rhinoceros with two horns has been captured and brought to the city. And, in front of a cheering Roman crowd, the rhinoceros will be provoked into fighting for people's entertainment. The poet Marshall tells us that trainers goaded the rhinoceros into goring a bear, steers, a buffalo, a bison, and a lion, that it charged with a fearful rage. It seems a horrible act of animal cruelty to us today, but such entertainment was part of the Roman world, part of the bread and circuses an emperor provided for his people. A rhinoceros had not been seen in Rome for more than 70 years, and for many this would have been their first and only glimpse of the creature. The Emperor Domitian advertised his munificence in bringing the beast to Rome by putting the poor rhinoceros, with both its horns, on his small change, reminding people of the spectacle they had seen and giving others the possibility to see, for the first time, this exotic animal. A rhinoceros also appears on lead tokens with the palm branch of victory and a bison on the other side, perhaps recalling the very fight described by Marshall. Perhaps this token was made in connection with this spectacle or a similar event. Tokens also connect the rhinoceros with lions, elephants and deer, as well as representations of grain, grapes and the goddess Fortuna. Bread and circuses, indeed. These tokens must be allusions to beast fights, called venationes in the Roman world. The image of the rhinoceros spread throughout the Roman Empire. It's clear, however, that some artists had never seen the beast, and so our representations become more and more images of the imagination. After all, if you had never seen a rhinoceros and someone described one to you, what would you imagine it looked like? The day a rhinoceros came to Rome. A digital story created as part of the Token Communities Project.